Keeping the frequency of the incident radiation and the potential difference between the cathode and the anode at constant value, the incident of the radiation is varied. The collector sounding photoelectric current is measured in a micro-ammeter. It is found that the photoelectric current increases linearly with the intensity of the incident radiation. So the number of incoming photons correspond to the photon intensity. So since the photoelectric current is directly proportional to the number of photoelectrons emitted per second, it implies that the number of photoelectrons emitted per second is proportional to the incident of intensity of incident radiations. For a given metallic surface C, keeping the intensity I1 and frequency of the incident radiation constant, the effect of potential difference between the plates on the photoelectric current can be studied. You can see the intensity of the radiation based on that we are trying to showcase. More the radiation, more the change. Smaller, smaller. It's minimal, it's really minimal. The variation of photoelectric current with the potential difference V between the two plates are shown here. When the positive potential of A is increased, the photoelectric current is also increased. And the positive potential is further increased as it is large enough to collect all the photoelectrons emitted from the plate C. The photoelectric current reaches a certain maximum value and this is referred to as saturation current. Let's talk about further on the effect of potential difference on the photoelectric current. If the potential of the plate A is made negative, the photo current does not immediately drop to zero but flows in the same direction as for positive potential. This shows that the photoelectrons are emitted from the plate C is with a finite velocity. If the negative or retarding potential is further increased, the photocurrent decreases and finally become zero at a particular potential. Thus, the minimum negative potential given to the anode for which the photoelectric current becomes zero, that is referred to as cutoff or stopping potential. If M is the mass of the photoelectron emitted with a velocity of V max, then the kinetic energy associated with it is given by half mv square max. Since at the stopping potential V0, the fastest electron is just prevented from reaching the plate A. The work done in bringing the fastest electron to rest is equal to the kinetic energy of the fastest electron. So E V0 is equal to half mv square max. So, the above equation E V0 is equal to half mv square max indicates that the stopping potential depends upon the velocity of the fastest electron. The experiment is repeated with the incident radiation of same frequency but of higher intensities I2 and I3. It is found from the graph the saturation currents are proportional to the intensities of the radiations. The stopping potential remains the same for all the intensities. Thus, for a given frequency of incident radiation, the stopping potential is independent of intensities. Keeping the photosensitive plate C an intensity of incident radiation a constant, the effect of frequency of the incident radiations on stopping potential is studied. The variation of photoelectric current with the applied differences V for three different frequencies is depicted here. 
you are able to see we got three frequencies and you got a saturation con constant. From the graph, it is found that the higher the frequency of the incident radiation, higher is the stopping potential. V naught. The frequencies for V3 greater than V2 greater than V1, the corresponding stopping potentials are in the same order of V naught 3, V naught and V naught 1. It is concluded from the graph that maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons varies linearly with the frequency of the incident radiation but is independent of the intensity. If the frequency of the incident radiation is plotted against the corresponding stopping potential, a straight line is depicted. This is how. From this graph, it is found that at a frequency, the value of stopping potential will become zero. V naught. This frequency is known as the threshold frequency of the photometal used. And the photoelectric effect occurs above this frequency or ceases and ceases below it. Therefore, Threshold frequency is defined as the minimum frequency of incident radiation below which the photoelectric emission is not possible or completely. However, it is higher than the intensity of incident radiations. The threshold frequency is different for different metals. <coughs> 